Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is going to be. Oh, God, I keep forgetting to update the thing. It's going to be Black Dutchie and Skazi versus Acid UK and Yurga on Adamantine Mountain. And I'm joined by. It's Flores again. <laughs> yes, by popular demand, we have Flores here. On Saturday evening. It's a good habit to hang around here on Saturdays. Yeah. Because, like I said, this is not a replay cast, this is live game cast. I really have no choice because the replay system isn't working. Well, the replay downloads aren't working, so. Pain in the butt. Yeah, anyway. ser server evidence still needs to be reset. Yes, it does. And let me know if there's any issues with the audio because this is possibly a setup that may be too CPU intensive, but I don't know. We'll find out. The game is just being set up. The players are. Discussing strategies. Yes, they are. Looks like we're going to see Black Dutchie going for Black Dawn Rush. Trying to get Skazi to go into Felon Ball while Yurga and Acid are going cloaky. Oh, they're. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay, Acid looks like he's going to go for the same thing, right? Yeah. Yurga wants to do the same as Skazi. Right. All right, and the game is going to begin pretty soon. There we go. And Cubay complaining that he just missed it. Yeah, well, sorry, you missed it. So, <laughs> Cloaky Ooh, and hover. hover. Hover going for your okay. Hover for Yurga, Cloaky for Acid, and Shield and Gunship for Black Dutchie. So Black Dawn Rush is forthcoming. Oh, it is going to hurt so badly. Yeah, and yeah, it will. Actually, I don't know if he builds up a flail right now. If Yurga just guesses, builds a flail, that'll work okay. Maybe that works better against Brawler Rush. On a morph and a turret coming up immediately. Oh, I see a QB. <laughs> Wait, where's the morph? Oh yeah, Acid going for the morph. Getting the Lotus. Not the best turret to get, unfortunately. Not that he's aware of this, but still, not the best turret to get. 2v2. Air comes up a lot. Yeah, it's almost mandatory. And here come almost, but anyway, Yurga coming in with his scrubber. He does see what's going on eventually. He will very soon see what's going oh, on. It's uh, interesting to point out that those maxes not in the corners do not give the full two metal. The ones in, on the sides, yeah. these ones here, like uh, these ones here, these are only giving half or even less from the ones in the corners. Oh, these. that is worth pointing out. Yes. Uh, usually, yeah, you, about three, you can skip them. Give one. Normally, everything gives two, but this is yeah, odd bit of disparity. And I'm a bit surprised that players haven't, like I said before in one of the early games, I don't know if you saw that when I was mentioning how I kind of been experimenting with expanding over far away and then moving away back into my main base. Uh-huh. Because I think that'd be kind of, that seems like an interesting, if aggressive way of setting up. However, Acid about to lose his commander. Down oh, goes the one goes. commander. Ouch. And the flail is up, but too late. The Black Dawn doesn't even die. Nope. But yeah, as I was saying, I found... Doing that is actually fairly powerful. The opponent usually doesn't expect it, and it also just... You just set up a line faster. You just... You don't pack them in this defensive little corner. You actually set yourself up across the map, and then you just consolidate it afterwards. It's a bit risky, I suppose, but... Oh, look at those uh, bandits by Skazi. He just killed two raiders. Three raiders yeah. for free. It's nice. Uh, that was doing a great job, and... Well, but yeah, but you another scrubber... Oh, not quite. That scrubber's gonna be able to get away. But anyway, what yeah, do you think now they have to keep guessing. Do I add on more anti-air or do I keep make anti-raiders? Yeah. Because the top team has two options. They do. They really can just options like on that one. However, well, it's, I think it's going to be anti-raider. Well, the mace is almost done. That Klogobot factory is taking heavy damage. It's. I think it's going to die. Yeah, it's going to die. The Black Dawn's coming in to finish it off if... The bandits don't. The mace All is the in. First. And Yurga's commander taking a fair amount of damage. Oh, it's losing half its health. More than half HP on a, in a single folly. Yep. Uh, and yeah, Skazi still expanding slowly along these weak metal extractors. Not going for the corner directly. Uh, it's not possible anymore. He needs cover from those uh, two flails. And then if the flails are with his commander, they're not in the base. Yeah, but at the same time, he could go around the back and then deal with the metal extractors and the factory, and the flails are out of position for defending the base directly. Actually, the flails are out of position for defending the commander directly. 
And the bandits, sorry, the banshees are coming around the back. They will see this, or they would if Black Dutchie decides to go through with it. No, the flails left. You saw that correctly, uh, Black Dutchie. So Black Dutchie is harassing a bit. He's not. Okay, he's not confident he can do this. No, he's playing he it correctly. He just takes damage he can get and keeps him pinned. No need to risk those banshees. Yep. However, it's still going to be kind of difficult. <laughs> it's still like Acid is rather underconfident about his chances. Well, not underconfident. Uh -huh. He's not confident in his chances. The flail. If you flail is doing quite a bit of damage, however, flail is amazing. Sorry, doing a great amount of damage. It's that perfect uh, against both the bandits and the benchies. Indeed it places. is. That's going to just tear apart everything. Black Dutch needs to move back. Jurgen needs to move back. However, the Black Dawn is going to take advantage of the flails being out of position. No more flails coming in right now. Getting rid of a glaive with a couple of bandits. No news there, but still, that's a thing. It happens. And Jurgen's commander back up to nearly full health, but it's going to take another volley. Down goes another line of missiles. And I think the Black Dawn's going to hang around a little... No, it's not going to hang around at all. The flail's moving back. Good choice. But at the same time, that leaves it open to the Banshees. <laughs> this... Oh, oh boy, there, there it goes. goes. There it goes. That commander is out. The Flail Hover able to get rid of the Black Dawn. Or not quite. Almost. That Black Dawn is in a tight spot, though. You cannot well, see gonna... him. He did have range, but no vision. <laughs> no. Just barely. That hill saved the Black Dawn's life. Yep. And Bandit, not going down quite yet, but the Mace should be finishing it off. The Banshees, not able to take advantage of the Flails being out of position. Actually, they could. They are out of position, but Blacktop just wants to save up a bit. He's taken out both commanders. Acid has no metal. Yurga has 10 metal. So Acid's totally stalling. Is getting they have a metal combined income. income of 6, now 11. <laughs> yeah. That's over. Compared to a combined uh, income At of least they all get the Black Dawn. They will. That Black Dawn finally goes down. This major thorn in their side, finally dead, but really not enough. And Skazi's commander actually going to be taking heavy damage to it. I think it might go down. Yes, it will. Skazi's commander is about to go down. Not sure this is really going to mean anything. Ah, uh, it's finished it morph. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Waste. It is. It's going to. It's. They won anyway. Who cares? I mean, even if they don't surrender, they're just going to lose everything. Sorry, your gun, Acid, don't surrender. It's still a loss. The flail's finally coming back in, but the bandits... The bandits in here while the maces are out of position. The maces go for a counterattack. That... That was not particularly encouraging, I'm afraid. However, the bandits... Not able to finish off the hovercraft factory in time. Able to stop Ooh. one of the maces from being produced, but... The maces are them. in the base. They are in the base. That's, That's a maze oh, wow. in your base. Those maces are actually doing a fair amount of damage. One of them's going to oh. die... But you no, don't not want even. to bench he's at maces. <laughs> yeah, not the best choice. Although one of the maces does. Okay, two of the maces do go down, and the last one's gonna be finished off. Yeah, GG. <laughs> it's a blast wing to finish it off as well. Oh well, that was still a pretty interesting game. Fascinating, if not typical.